Hey guys, what's up? Harold Gaming here. How are you all doing? Today, I'm going to be making a video on how to create my Defi Pet account. But before anything else, I'd like to thank my partner, Cakes Graphics, for editing this video. Check out his link down in the description below. First thing you need to have is MetaMask. Number two is Binance. And number three is Funds. So let's start it. Step one, you go to Binance. So if you don't have an account with Binance yet, um, make sure that you have your license or your passport ready because they need to verify your account front and back. Plus you've got to have to take a selfie for that. It may take two to 20 days for verification, but some verifications would just take minutes or hours so just wait for it to be verified before you could actually trade using the binance application you can download it on your phone as well make sure to check on this logo um yeah so for you to get a bnb you need to get the bnb using a credit card or p2p trading so if you have a credit card that will be very easy all you need to do is to change this one to php and the btc to bnb Ideally, you need 0.5 BNB for you to buy um, DPET coins. So DPET to BNB. As of the moment, if you have 0 0.5 BNB, that's going to give you 20, 22 DPET coins. So that's more than 5 pets, which is like the ideal. So if you don't have a credit, click continue, and then it goes on from here. If you don't have any credit card, you can use... Um, P2P trading. You can do that by going to BNB, change this one to PHP, and then you can select any payment. Like if you wanted GCash, you can turn on the filters in here. Um, I always use all payments. So just want to, it's worth mentioning that um, a lot of my friends use, tried to use BPI and then their card was blocked when using the, um, buying using credit card but bdo metro bank union bank that's absolutely fine so things that you need to watch when um, buying p2p you might want to go for the cheaper ones but you can't you can't actually buy them if you're not buying for a minimum of twenty five thousand. so you're gonna scroll down and look for someone who has a lower limit like oh this guy's selling 500 but it's going to be the price is going to be more like 15,650 per BNB compared to that one of 14,677. But yeah, if you don't have 25,000, then just go for this one. I suggest there's even, yeah, 3,000. Yeah, if you have 4,000 budget, then you can buy from this guy. So here's how to buy. Um, Let's say you want to buy one, one BNB. So if you click buy BNB, that's going to prompt you directly to bank transfer using Union Bank or Gcash. All right. Assuming you've already done those, the steps, you are going to go to overview. You want to see, so if you bought it from P2P, you're going to see your assets in here. So you're going to see the BNBs in here. So you want to transfer it to your Fiat and Spot. You want to convert that one. You want to click Max. If so, it will go to your Fiat or Fiat. I don't know what, how how to exactly pronounce it, but yeah. So it's gonna be showing up in here. So example, you already have 0.5 BNB in here. Then you're done. You're done with Binance. That's all you need to do. And you're going to have to transfer it to MetaMask by clicking Withdraw. So you need your MetaMask address in here. If you don't have MetaMask yet, all you need to do is go here, MetaMask. Click this one. This is a Chrome extension, by the way. So you click Download Now. Install MetaMask for Chrome. I already have it, so it says remove from Chrome, but you can access it by clicking this little puzzle in here. That's the extension. 
then it's gonna show your wallet in here so i already have an account but i could try making a video on how to set up an account in here but it's pretty much easy to understand if you make your own account from there uh, one thing i would like to mention is when you when you first make your metamask account you're gonna be the default is going to be the ethereum network now be careful do not do that in transferring the bnvs as in like no do not do that you would want to make uh bsc which is the binance smart chain network so for you to make that one you go to your profile in here you want to go to your settings and then from there you want to go to networks and then you so i already have the smart chain in here there's no need for me to add that but for you guys this wouldn't be in there if it's your first time doing it so you want to add network and for the network name smart chain don't worry i'm gonna be putting a link down in the description below for this one so you know what to put there chain id is gonna be um 56 and the symbol is bnb and you have an optional block url um doesn't matter doesn't matter for this one uh i will put it down the link for this where you can get the details on the description below so please refer to link one all right so i cannot add it right now because i already have it so you click save and then boom you already have it so once you're in there you're still in the ethereum market right you want to transfer to smart chain now that you're already on smart chain you're gonna see a bnb in here and that's going to be zero if you don't have any yet so you want to click this in order for you to copy it or if the copy option is not there you can click this three buttons in here account details and copy this one then you go back to your binance paste that in there okay be careful because if you're gonna put in the wrong address in here like you place your ethereum wallet or whatever wallet address you're gonna be placing here that's not bnb and it's gonna be gg guys like there is no refunds or nothing so money lost so you have to be very careful with this tab now that you've done it um it's gonna prompt you to that one yes i'm sure and then you're gonna put the minimum the the amount that you want to send your bnb to uh you get you want to put it into max so if you had 0.5 if you're gonna put it into max um it's just gonna auto populate uh, how much are you going to be able to send and it has a little bit of gas fee in here i think that's 0 0.0015 i already forgot but yeah once you hit everything like everything goes through you wait two to three minutes for it to reflect on your metamask account so once it's sent go back to your metamask then it's gonna reflect here eventually once you have it once you confirm from your metamask that it's there you then want to go to pancake swap for you to swap your account into dpet token so so another thing i'd like to mention is be careful in putting pancake swap because there's a lot of scam sites out there where in the a is replaced with the o so it's going to be like pancake swap don't click that that's a scam so i'm going to be putting the pancake swap on the link to down in the description below so that you'll be able to click the right one so from here there's no login needed yet you can go to trade you can go to exchange um I'm, i will log out from my account so sorry I will log out so you can see what it looks like yeah so you go to trade you go to exchange here um it will populate how much bnb you're going to have so you want to convert you want to get um 15 
defects. So you want to import that one. Yes, I understand. So you want 15 DPETS token. So you're able to purchase at least five bits. Right. So it's going to say unlock wallet. Go to your MetaMask. And then it shows up something in here. And then you're just going to hit submit, submit. You're not going to be paying any fee from this point. On this point right now. So yeah, it's for free. You come back to your here. Then, I, of course, I can't because it says insufficient balance. So, whatever is there, like, I have a 0.20, but it's going to ask for a fee again. So, these fees are very small, but it's very significant, guys. So, make sure you have an extra BNB. So, for example, if you had 0.5 um, BNB, um, that would be at least 22 deeper tokens. You can just buy 21 so you still have enough gas fee for your bnb because if you don't have enough bnb left if you if you convert everything into dpet you're gonna you're gonna need to top up more because you need at least 0 0.0025 bnbs to buy a pet or an egg so if you multiply it by five at least you have 0 0.0125 left uh, of bnb so make sure not to convert everything so safe is just put 18 so you could evolve at least one character and then you still have 15 for the five bets all right uh, once it's done i'm just putting it so you want to swap it it gives you to this one you want to confirm swap um it's gonna pop up in here in your metamask and then see the fees in here you just want to confirm it me for now i'm gonna be rejecting it because i don't need the deep token i have deep tokens as of the moment so i'm going to be rejecting it so once you've swapped it you've actually confirmed it you can now go to my deep game my ta-da here it is so you want to click on now and then if it's your first time in here you go to bsc chain and then there's going to be a thing here that's uh, going to log out my metamask so you'll see what i mean so if i refresh it so see it says connect so it asks for your metamask password so be careful do not forget your password or you should save the seed phrase from your metamask because you there is no forget password here now your deep token is going to be here for example you bought 18 you're going to have your 18 deep tokens in here and then you can start to buy your egg your very first egg There, you want to buy your egg, click that one, pops you to your MetaMask, you buy egg, and then something shows up in here. All you need to do is confirm. Once it's confirmed, um, don't worry about it. Um, I'll just reject it for now. And then you refresh this one, you can see that minus three defect tokens is removed from your account. And congratulations, you have your first egg. If you like what you've seen so far, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. I will be uploading more videos about my Diffy Pet and all about investments, games, and whatsoever. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.